世界を学びに行こう Doc, I was just excited for everything that y'all were doing.、Um, yeah,、uh, the Colorado FGC, like, I never lived in Colorado, but I know a bunch of people in Colorado, and they're all just great people. And, like, doing what little part I could to help. You know, to help do, do right by by Akihabara. That's uh, it was a very easy choice to make, and I felt lucky to be in the position where, where I could, you know. Send some people on over that way. Thank you for the good luck, Faisu. So that. The answer. Thank you for the good luck. So, for those of you who don't know this game,、uh, this is Octopath. It was. It feels funny to introduce it because it did pretty well commercially when it came out.、Um, But it's, it's a game that was designed by the people who did、uh, Bravely, Bravely Default, Bravely Second.、Um, and it was explicitly designed to be a kind of spiritual successor to Final Fantasy VI. And as somebody who has speedrun a lot of Final Fantasy VI, that, that idea excited me quite a bit. <laughs> So, if anybody has questions about the run, about the game, about the stream, like whatever, that's, that's why we have a chat. So, I needed three,、um, three encounters here. You need to be level three before the fight. Level three gets you slightly better spell power. Which means that you're able to kill those、uh, two adds just a little bit quicker.
使っておこう Excellent. Welcome in. Wolfman Wild Knight Blazer. Give me a cape. Or not. Give me bugs. Bugs would be good. Okay, I'll take a cape. Maki, welcome in. Thank you for the good luck. I hope you're doing well. Yeah, this game is uh, real good as a speedrun. My, uh, my point of comparison is Final Fantasy VI, which I've done a ton of speedruns of. I would say compared to Final Fantasy VI, this game, the menuing feels a little bit worse. I think that Final Fantasy has a better menu system. But, I will say that this game feels fantastic to play, and that's what you want in a speedrun, usually. Probably gonna get a fight here, I didn't respect that push. Yeah, Nori, things are going well here. Thank you. Allergies are kicking my butt. In the year of our Linux on the desktop 2020, if that's the worst thing that you have to say about your life, allergies are kicking your butt, you're doing pretty okay. I know, the bush didn't deserve it. I failed to pay it its due respect. And as a result, somebody tried to kick my butt. Rightly so. 
This movement was trash. I deserve to get into a fight there. There's just... This area has a couple of invisible walls that don't make a lot of sense to me. So there's a lot of this run. It's optimizing your movement. If you're the type of person who really enjoys a routing challenge, single uh, single character runs are, or not single character, but single story runs are just real treat. set threat there. That cost me about 10 seconds. figure out where it is and I'm failing to pick up. A stone that I'm supposed to get. Or am I just supposed to pray for an EI frog? That might be it.
You're back and refreshing your cast of good luck. Thank you. I need good luck. Hopefully I had a few turns of good luck left before I ran out. Uh, were you there before or after I realized that I had failed to pick up a large soul stone and the run died? To be fair, though, that's not luck. That's me. 100% me. Oh, in that case, yeah. Um, the, uh, the wish of good luck has definitely uh, been going strong. Dan. Thank you so much for 20 months. It's fortuitous that you're here because it is impossible for this to not be the last run of the night. We're in bonus time thanks to a very generous host from MDCT Doc. basically forced to reenact the FGC retirement home that has been going on at Tai Tuesday's channel since the end of Akizeme. I did not see a comment from Bro's Twitch chat that you DM'd me yet. Can't wait. exactly what I think it would be. So, it's somebody accusing you of wanting to give out more Robocop? Like, that's pretty much what I associate you in the eyes of Twitch chat. Yeah, it's now. Ooh, that was bad movement and I did not deserve to get out of there scot-free. Not complaining, just didn't earn that one. What if Robocop but yellow? That sounds like a ZX Spectrum game. I have a pretty good idea of what, what the comment will have been then. Brinleth, it's fantastic to get you to uh, be able to, to hang out here again. Yeah, this new schedule's been working for me. I should definitely not be running until in the morning, but overall, I've been enjoying the schedule because I get to hang out with my good, good friends.
You know it's a Squaresoft RPG when walls don't actually exist. I'm gonna side with Faisu here. The BBC Micro is actually a very good computer for what it was built for. Yeah, I deserve that. My sins have finally caught up to me. I have entered into a battle. No, a Yugo is not good for what it was designed for. A Yugo was designed to be a car. Um, the current splits are based on my TV. I did save my golds, though. If I do one more run after this, I can find the washing machine in-game. Yes. I think I'll skip. But yeah, um, if I didn't save my golds from the last run, this would probably be solid golds so far. Not that one. Pretty sure that wouldn't have been a gold because of the fight. Yeah. Oops, all golds. That was the previous run. I was getting ridiculous movement. Like, forgiveness. Like, the game was just pretending that I wasn't screwing up left and right. Compared to this. See there, I stubbed my toe and I had to pay for it. Previously? Fine, no worries. Happens to the best of us.
so this run is actually really stressful because it's very tight. Like, every little stub toe has a real danger of, um, of going wrong. Just because I, I got burned last run. So here we're actually trying to get to a trigger. That the game counts as starting a fight, even though we can opt to not start the fight. So that resets our threat. Which is real nice. It's nice of the game to offer me a fight and me to say, no thanks. I think I'm just gonna loot instead. And the game's like, all right, cool. Sarah, thank you very much for the good luck. I'm gonna take the coward's route. We're ahead. We're like super duper grossly ahead, so. You did a cut. You no longer have a five inch fro. I hope that's where you kept all your chess skill, because like you've been kicking my ass lately, and I'm getting real tired of it. I'm very good at blundering. You did it by yourself? Well, I would expect you to. We should all be staying home, and that means, no, you don't get to go to the barber right now. Please, a lot of our games, you're doing more blunders than me. Yeah, but I'm making them count. You're not. When I blunder, I make sure that I really fuck up. I just make the last blunder. That's the only one that matters. Storm, yes. Help, oh, sure. Help. Proceed. Oh, that 
It's not a stone. It won't become a stone just because I really want it to. It's a little bit sloppy movement. You thought that making blunders was a speedrunning term you weren't familiar with? I mean... There's, there's no reason that it couldn't be. Alright, I'm gonna do something that I hate. I'm gonna go buy an extra soul stone. That was like 30 seconds because I don't know where I'm supposed to be getting a soul stone that I don't I, that I'm not having at the end of the run. So I'll figure it out later. For now, it works. Leg hold trap. Insight. Thousand speed.
speedruns are just a series of blunders put together. Yeah, it's fair. I think there's probably a faster large soul stone here that I could buy. Oh. Honestly, it's probably faster to pick up the large soul stone in the spot here. Skullgun, welcome back, friend. Thank you for 35 months. Thank you for the ASD. -a. I hope you're doing well. Okay, cool. You're hungry, but you can't get get up. Really? Yeah, that's great. Please, God, let this be the time that I get a first try, Yvonne. Attack? Yes. Alright, well. I didn't, uh, spe I specifically didn't want to break him, but I don't want to move my cursor. This is why this split takes 10 minutes. You're not supposed to be here at level 12. Check that one. 
I think everybody should be able to survive one hit from... Yeah, no, Therian just gets owned. Cool, that's good. Now my notes literally say this this fight sucks, good luck. So that's good. Okay. And dead. Oh, oops. Tornado? Thank you. Arctic Rebels. It's been way too long. I hope you're doing well. We're having some bad luck here, friends. Oh, oops. That's fine. I die here no matter what. One comfy stream? Well, I've got good news for you. We're on the last run of the night, but I do my best to keep it comfy no matter what. Uh, currently, we are, as you can see, in an RNG hell fight. Which is what happens when you speedrun games like this. That's unfortunate. That one looked like we were going to have good luck. As you can see, Yvonne is very intimidating. But it's going to be very difficult not to be ahead. Um, gold is going to be tough to, to get at this point, but being ahead... Being ahead should happen. We just need attacks, not tornadoes. How much time does the run lose to Cyrus analyzing? Uh, it's like two or three seconds per battle, but having uh, evasive maneuvers early just makes a huge difference. That was almost a dead run. Well, that's a dead run. Yeah, all attacks, except that if somebody dies, it's it's already game over. Attacks, no one dies. Let's get out of here. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. All right.
See if we can fix this guy. But here he should I think go to seven, go to eight. Let's not defend this time, eh? There we go. A couple of extra turns, just for fun. Hollyhead, thank you very much for the host. Welcome in, everyone. I'm Tina. I'm not good at this game. some stuff. Let's get some big hole trap. Nope, it's after this. Therian. All Therian. Let's trap a bow. Steal SP. Duskboro. Let's go. EFC official. Welcome in. Hope you're doing well tonight. Newster. Turns out this game is very difficult. Where can I sell shit? Here we go. This game is very pretty looking. That's definitely true. The artistic direction, both uh, visual and audio, is stellar in this game. It's the bop door, that's absolutely correct. Bad movement. Luckily, this resets our threat. Um, being pulled into a cutscene resets your threat, which is quite nice. Alright, so here I need to check mine. Gold, we need to be 93 or better. We are not. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this chest and do two quick screen transitions, which resets my threat, which is quite nice. Also, lets me pick up some corpse money. Now we're good. Good for the final fight. Final fight is um, very RNG based, so. This will be fun. Basically, if um, 
somebody who weakens the final boss is not uh, able to act before the final boss's first attack. You just reset. You know, for fun. See, like this, I'm dead. Apparently you're not supposed to try and do this but when you're south of level 20. I don't know. Weird design, right? Yeah, good talk, Lucia. Thanks. Yep, once again, good talk, Lucia. Not even worth thinking about it. Basically, whether or not you win the game here uh, is determined by the order that happens in the first turn. Which is nice. It means that there's no thinking, like, no uh, worry about whether or not the game can decide that you don't get to win after the first turn. Yeah, 30 is a pretty big number. Why did you live? That's rude. Thank you. Ulbrich here. Ulbrich's like, nah, level 12 is fine. Let's go. All right, now we can win. Literally, either one of these two are the ones that I need to uh, have go before uh, Lucia, so we're good. Two shackle foe. Leg hold. Thousand spears. So at the end of this turn, we were really hoping to get Lucia down to 25. Uh, so we're doing okay so far. Alright, turn two. Insight. Train of arrows. You are healing grapes. Only barely worth even thinking about, but let's do it. Rain of arrows to bring you down to 19. Okay, that miss is actually good. So you have BP4 sidestep. So you are now inside again. Yes. Turn four. Alright. Now we are closer to where we want to be. Healing grapes. Fifty. Fifty. 
Six. Spear. On the hill. You. You defend. Caps. Soul spells, let's go. Is this the most RNG dependent path that I've done so far? No, actually. This is not someone. What a bummer, this isn't sub one. Oh well, it's a PB, whatever. Best text box in the game coming up. Hey, there we go. Hey, come back. We need you. No, I didn't have to. I didn't have to redo the boss if I failed there. Yeah, drag Cyrus's dead body over to the mural. Wake him up. <laughs> like, do that cartoon style, like, slap him a couple times to wake him up. Or put an olive in his mouth, be like, got shit to read. Yeah, I'll take style points. It's a very fitting way for that run to end. And honestly, like at this point, if I'm on a good pace after Gideon, that Yvonne and that Lucia, those are going to be much, much easier to run against.
So, not too bad. Thanks for the GG's, everyone. Much appreciated. HMO, Croker, Abutu, Erix, Faizu, Grinlet. Thank you all for the GG's. That's true. This is this isn't a sub one run, but it is a sub ones run. It's much faster than one hour, eleven minutes, and eleven seconds. It's also very close to sub one hour, that's true. And it is, it, you know, it's it's a three minute PB, so. Sana Chikai, how's it going? Hey, remember, this run happened because I got that host from MDCT Dog. This is this is just proof that good things happen to you if you go to Sword Dot Zone and you follow Doc and you watch his streams. Don't take my word for it. Look at the PB that I just got. It speaks for itself. cooking experiences. You got a new batch of jalapenos. It ranged from tastes like green peppers to why is my skin burning furiously? Yeah, jalapenos tend to run a pretty wide gamut. Um, when I lived in Texas, I had a couple of jalapeno plants that always produced extremely hot peppers um, that rivaled the habaneros that we got from the grocery store. Um, I suspect that jalapenos have been hybridized with a lot of other, you know, other peppers and they've just broadly kept, you know, the overall flavor profile and people haven't bothered naming them something different. Because yeah, I've had jalapenos that do not taste hot at all and I've had very, very hot jalapenos. You need more Carolina Reapers. Well, that that would help you adjust your um, your spice tolerance. I used to have a bottle. Um, I wish that they made it regularly. Uh, so Dave's Insanity Sauce generally is okay. It's not amazing, but you know it's it's good. It generally has flavor as opposed to a lot of. The, you know, super hot, hot sauces that, you know, pretty much just go for how do we most effectively uh, isolate capsaicin, ship that. Um, Dave's made a private, they called it private reserve, which really meant that it was a limited batch, but it was smoked Carolina Reapers. And it is, to this day, one of my favorite hot sauces, and I wish that they had mass-produced it instead of only making it the once, because it was so fucking good. It went great on pizza. Um, like, so my normal thing is, if I have a Hawaiian pizza, I will add um, usually a ghost pepper sauce, but it turns out that the um, the Private Reserve Carolina Reaper was great. It, it went perfectly on, like, Hawaiian pizza. It went great on burgers. It very, very good. Horn Dan, you have a hot sauce for me then. Ooh. Yeah, Rivers, I like ghost peppers. 
Uh, there's a restaurant here that used to make a burger called the Hot and Spicy Burger. And one of my favorite things about Finn's trying to do American food is that every American thinks that they like spicy food, and they don't. But for whatever reason, Finnish restaurants that do like American style burgers and stuff, they just take Americans at their word when they say that they like spicy food. So the Hot and Spicy Burger uh, had ghost peppers on it and was served with a ghost pepper compote instead of uh, ketchup for your fries. It was very, very good. Sarah, welcome back. Yeah, hopefully we get it tomorrow. Fingers crossed on that one. Yeah, Skullgun, I grew up in a family of people who really, really like spicy food. Um, like Indian takeout, stuff like that was a very regular occurrence. And we, we managed to get off of the uh, white people menu pretty early in my childhood, so I built up a pretty strong tolerance. My whole family is just, we all eat fairly, fairly spicy food. Look at that nerd. Books. It's a very fashionable quill pin. Only he could have been two minutes faster and have moved on to the next character. Darn. 